This is Web Magazine on the TechCrunch Disrupt 2013 in Berlin, and I'm here with John Oringer, CEO from Shutterstock. John, you are opening a new office here in Berlin in the Kulturbrauerei, so uh, welcome in the neighborhood. Why Thank did you. you decide to come to Berlin? We uh, decided about six months or so ago to, uh, to open an office here. About 70% of our business is outside the U.S., about 40% of that is Europe. So Berlin seemed like the perfect place to launch our European headquarters. Okay. Does it uh, bring new vibes into the company or new ideas? I mean, people say Berlin is maybe the next valley. Yeah, this place is exploding. Um, the thing that we're looking for in Berlin are mobile engineers and salespeople. We are um, looking to continue to expand into the rest of Europe and the rest of the world. Uh, you employ like uh, 300 people right now in your company, um, so you are the boss of many people. You yourself never had a boss, uh, you were always self-employed. Uh, tell me about that. Yeah, the, the important thing is uh, to hire people that have those skills and surround yourself with them. Uh, when I started Shutterstock, I had never worked in, uh, I mean, I had an internship, but I had never worked in a company with more than just a few people in it. Um, I had always been a one-man shop. I had always kind of started things myself and did everything on my own. Um, but as you start to scale, you have to move out of that role and start to um, empower other people in the organization to do certain things and hire people that are much smarter than you to do the things that you don't know how to do. So Shutterstock has uh, became quite big right now. Uh, how the company, how did the company change the culture of the company actually in the last years? What did you learn actually? The culture hasn't changed as much. I mean, we need a lot more people to operate the, the business now, but we still try to empower all of our employees to be entrepreneurs. We allow people to come up with crazy ideas and build stuff. We have hackathons. Um, we're the same iterative hacker culture that we've been all along. And the, um, uh, the headquarters is still in New York. Why didn't you move to, to the Valley, actually? Um, As everybody does. Yeah, not everyone. We didn't. Um, so I, I, I grew up in New York. I went to school in New York. I had started all the rest of my businesses in New York. And New York is a great place for a media-ish technology company, right? I mean, we're, we are a tech company, but we do sell a media product, and there's lots of creative people in New York. Also, we expanded to several different languages in the first few years. Um, today, we're in 20 different languages, and finding people that speak all of these languages is important to us. So New York was a, was a good place for the diversity that we needed. And now you're coming in Berlin. Welcome again. Thank you for the interview, and uh, see you later. Thank you.